Hello everyone. Welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you about the uh, Linux Mint Windows. See how can you install Linux Mint 18 latest version with the dual board like with, along with Microsoft operating system Windows 8 or else you can install Windows 8.1 or 10 on any machine either EFI frameworks or you can install with the UI also so these if you follow these steps it will be come up if your computer has no pre-installed operating system you can intend to install Linux Windows dual board so first install Microsoft Windows then proceed with the Linux Mint installation so then the first one you need to shrink the hard disk for the dual board so you need to press windows r then you need to type disk management dot msc after that it will be come up that like this is the image the sample image and after that you can see this is your shrink volume you have to right click the drive which you want to have a space after that you need to right click and need to click or shrink once you click on the shrink value you can assign the minimum like 20 GB is the recommend size that will come okay after that uh, here is the an allocated space will become for this installation on Linux Mint and then what you have to do is close the disk management utilities after that and then you need to place the DVD or USB or pen drive the bootable uh, of the Linux Mint installation CD you need to insert it after that what you have to do is the step to installation of Linux Mint you can find in how to install Linux Mint 18 Sara this is the link of this my, my video you can watch it how to install it that one and uh, you can find this link also in the description box also below to my video and uh, after that uh, after reboot the system will first be corrupt with Linux Mint as the first boot options will be automatically started after that in seconds here from here you can switch and search the computer to boot into Windows or Linux on computer you will never UEFI frameworks boot corrupt loader will not display by default so this is about your yeah, next one is in order to boot into Linux, you first you need to press special function boot. After restart from this feature selected borders you wish to start. So this is about your UFT uh, entering into UEFI. And after the finish the installation, you need to log into the Linux means then you need to update and upgrade the command. So that is about the installations. All the links you can find below to my video download links video links others are you can find it and also uh, please donate to cloud Net channel and whether for this uh, you can donate through the uh, paypal or credit card or direct to western union you can also donate me and also you can contact me at the cloud net at the gmail.com for future instructions and if you are looking for um, to make me any video you can e also email me I will make a video and if you like me if, if you want help from me any kind of uh, troubleshoot errors or any kind of video I'm ready I'm very helpful to uh, help you just uh, email me on itcloudnet at the thanks for watching my video please subscribe to cloudnet channel